Broly and Goku Black continued their battle, with Goku Black having the upper hand. Thanks to his rose transformation, the skies above them filled with energy. As their battle raged on, the sudden power increase overwhelmed Broly, sending him crashing. I can't just stand here and watch. They are going to kill Broly. However, Zamasa snuck up from behind, killing him. At this point, Broly's power seemed to surpass Goku Black's. Super Saiyan Broly had already beaten Goku and Vegeta in their blue forms, who were much, much stronger than the version that Goku Black fought in the future Ruined Saga. We saw in Dragon Ball Heroes that when someone is much stronger than Goku Black, like me, he can't win just by enduring damage. While it's not officially part of the canon story, my point remains. Zamasa realized that they can't win against such a powerful brute. Goku Black, let us retreat for now. And retreated with his partner to a distant planet, leaving Broly stranded on the repugnant world of Vampa. This attracted the attention of someone from afar. Back on Earth, a warrior from another dimension arrived with Trunks' time machine, seeking answers about its unexpected appearance. In a previous episode, Trunks falling out of the time machine led to impressing the wrong coordinates. Future Gohan from another timeline climbed out of the time machine and found only the lifeless body of his former student. Trunks! Oh no! No! This fueled Gohan's rage as he believed this timeline was beyond saving. His newfound power caught the attention of the duo. What was that? That's impossible. Trunks is supposed to be dead. However, Zamasa noticed the time machine and destroyed it. Another time traveler. Gohan questions him about what happened, but before he could finish, he saw a figure resembling his father. After a moment of confusion, he realized it wasn't his father and charged forward to confront him. Meanwhile, Broly was still mourning the loss of his father. He heard footsteps approaching. He was surprised that he hadn't sensed this person's power and couldn't help but wonder if they were incredibly weak. Deeming him not a threat, Broly cautiously rose to his Now feet. hang on a minute! Regarding the other universes, they likely remained unaffected. As they couldn't have defeated powerful opponents like Jiren or Talpo. Maybe hit. Thanks, but I got this. The reason they didn't receive external help from other universes, even after Whis probably informed them of the situation, might be because Daishinkan believed that each universe should handle its own problems. To his astonishment, a composed and mysterious figure named Weez emerged before him. Broly had never encountered someone quite like Weez. Weez introduced himself and revealed that he had drawn the attention of his father, Grand Minister Daishinkin. He went on to describe a remarkable proposition. They wanted Broly to become the next destroyer of Universe 7, but only after dealing with two formidable threats currently in the equation. Broly found himself bewildered by Weez's words. The concept of becoming a destroyer remained unclear to Broly, but there was something about Weez's demeanor and speech that conveyed trustworthiness. As they departed from Vampa, Broly cast one final glance at the repugnant world that had been his home for so long. Upon their arrival at Zeno's palace, Grand Minister Daishinkin chose to overlook Broly's informal behavior. He tried his best to convey the gravity of the situation, emphasizing that Broly represented the last hope for this universe. Zeno leaps up to meet Broly face to face. Broly, in his own unique way, greets Zeno just as Goku would have done. The unusual and unexpected greeting sends shockwaves through everyone present. So, anyway, Broly was this universe's last hope, the key to averting an impending catastrophe. If he could eliminate the two threats, Goku Black and Zamasu, they would grant him one wish for his troubles, and he would become the next destroyer of Universe 7. Broly was provided with new clothes and a big meal to replenish his strength. The food tasted better than anything he had ever eaten on Vampa. After this, they told Broly to go with Whis to Earth, where Goku Black and Zamasa were.